hello friends so welcome back and today we are going to start with the part 7 of this uh, series and I really hope that you are liking the tutorial uh, so far and if you have any questions or comments please uh, you know do share it uh, in the comment section and please subscribe to stay updated okay uh, from the last part uh, I would like to bring to your notice that you know uh, in before we have conducted the ANOVA method uh, we made sure that for all the categorical features if there are any nulls we have tried to fill it uh, with a string value called missing because uh, the ANOVA method uh, will not be able to run if there are missing values so that is why we have taken this step okay so this is just uh, to bring to your notice okay for today's section uh, what we are going to do is uh, focus our attention to fill the missing values for other features and let's see but before that let's see how many of those features are uh, missing have, have missing values and then accordingly we can take a step uh, to fill those out okay so we see that uh, you know for the electrical column because there was only one record missing so what we did is we replaced that value uh, first we identified the location of that missing record and then we replaced it with the mode uh, of that column right uh, which is basically zero in this case okay for after that uh, what we're going to see is the because here we were only focused on the categorical features but right now we are interested in to see all the features and see which are the columns which has missing values now you must have noticed that you know we have already filled several features with this missing value uh, but then later on we are going to work on this as well okay uh, so let's see which are the other features remaining that we need to focus to remove the null values okay so we have lot frontage we have the garage year built and we have the mass uh, veneer area okay so let's see how we can uh, fix this all right so this is how we are going to handle these three missing features um, so one is the lot frontage the garage year built and the machinery veneer area so uh, it doesn't make sense that a lot frontage will not have a you know, a lot will not have a street in front of it uh, that's what it meant by lot frontage so what we're going to do is we're replacing those missing values with uh, the median of the neighborhood okay and for the garage year build if the year is missing we cannot do much about it but we can set it to zero instead of giving it any other random number and for machinery veneer area because it's most of the values are zero so we can just fill uh, those missing values with zero as well all right so one thing we have to be very uh, you know minutely observing is whenever we are doing a bulk processing we need to make sure that we are you know uh, doing it properly because a, a slight data issue has occurred so what happened was whenever there was a missing value in a categorical feature we replaced it you know with a missing string right now what happened was for this particular column mass veneer type what happened was it for already null values they have a uh, value called none already assigned to that column so there was no necessary necessity for us to have replaced that right so in this case what we are going to do is we are going to correct our assignment and we are putting missing and replacing missing basically with none okay so that's the first step and the second step we are then replacing those nuns with the uh, mean values uh, for the, for that particular type so we are first going to identify which are the most common values and then we are assigning the mean of that for the missing records okay so now that we have handled uh, so many columns with uh, missing values and we have replaced it accordingly let's do a quick check a sanity check and see did we miss anything right uh, are there any columns which needs our attention so okay so running this it shows that you know none of the column has any missing records yay <laughs> all right so next what we're going to focus is uh, we are going to check the outliers in the data we are going to see whether there are any duplicate records or um, you know because we have seen that the some of the numerical column has uh, issue with the skewness that means they're either right skewed or left skewed so we will accordingly process them by doing a log transformation so that we will do in our next video till then have a great day and 
keep practicing so that this concept becomes more clear please subscribe to the channel please